Pacific Ocean, vast, unforgiving, and increasingly the arena where America's future security will be decided. For decades, U.S. aircraft carriers have projected American power across these waters. But now, a new threat looms on the horizon. China's military buildup has reached unprecedented levels. Their advanced air defenses and growing navy now challenge American dominance in ways unimaginable just 20 years ago. The question isn't whether America will respond, but how. In early 2025, we got our answer. After the U.S. Air Force secured its next-generation F-47 fighter, the Navy has launched its own program for a revolutionary carrier-based aircraft, the F-A-20. This isn't just another fighter jet. It's America's blueprint for maintaining air superiority in the world's most contested region. Today, we're taking you inside this classified program that will redefine naval aviation for generations to come. The stakes couldn't be higher, the technology more advanced, and the mission more critical. If you agree that America needs to maintain its edge in military aviation, type yes in the comments. The Pacific Theater has always presented unique challenges for military planners. Unlike Europe's relatively compact geography, the Pacific spans over 60 million square miles, nearly a third of Earth's surface. For aircraft carriers, this creates what military strategists call the tyranny of distance. Current Navy fighters, primarily the F-A-18 Super Hornet, have a combat radius of approximately 1,275 nautical miles when flying clean with minimal weapons. While impressive by traditional standards, this range becomes severely limiting when facing an adversary like China across the vast Pacific. In recent years, China has deployed what military experts call anti-access, area denial capabilities, layered defenses designed specifically to keep American carriers at bay. Their DF-21D and DF-26 missiles, nicknamed carrier killers, can potentially strike ships from over 2,000 miles away, forcing U.S. carriers to operate from distances that severely limit the effectiveness of current aircraft. Admiral James Kilby, acting chief of naval operations, didn't mince words when discussing the situation at a recent sea airspace exhibition. We're talking about a fight in the Pacific. We fight together as a joint force, so having that capability is very important for us. This stark assessment represents a significant shift in how the Navy talks about potential conflicts. The message is clear. America needs fighters that can operate effectively across vast distances in contested environments exactly what the FAXX program aims to deliver. The FA-20 represents the Navy's entry into sixth-generation fighter development. While fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 focused on stealth and sensor fusion, sixth-generation aircraft take these capabilities to entirely new levels while adding revolutionary technologies. The program was formally launched in the early 2020s as part of the Navy's Next Generation Air Dominance Initiative. Unlike previous fighter programs that focused on developing single platforms, NGAD takes a family-of-systems approach, connecting manned fighters with unmanned loyal wingmen and advanced networking capabilities. At the center of this system stands the FA-20, a carrier-based fighter designed to replace the aging FA-18EF Super Hornet fleet. The Navy plans to begin fielding the system in the 2030s, with a competitive contract expected to be awarded imminently. What makes the FA-20 program particularly notable is the competition itself. For decades, fighter development has been dominated by a small group of defense contractors. But this time, the landscape has shifted dramatically. Boeing, manufacturer of the current Super Hornet, is squaring off against Northrop Grumman. Surprisingly, Lockheed Martin, which produces both the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, has reportedly been excluded from the competition. This marks a significant shift in defense procurement strategy, potentially ending Lockheed's near monopoly on advanced fighter development. The contract, worth hundreds of billions over decades, will initially focus on the engineering and manufacturing development phase. The winner gains not just enormous financial rewards, but the chance to define naval aviation's future. What exactly will make the FA-20 revolutionary? According to Rear Admiral Michael Donnelly, Director of the Air Warfare Division for the Chief of Naval Operations, several key capabilities stand out. First and foremost is range. The aircraft's ability to strike targets at significant distances from its carrier. Donnelly stated the F-A-20 will have probably over 125% of the range that we're currently seeing today. 
This translates to a combat radius potentially exceeding 1,700 nautical miles, a game-changing improvement for Pacific operations. This increased range comes with full refueling capability, allowing the FAXX to work seamlessly with platforms like the MQ-25 Stingray unmanned tanker. As Donnelly explained, the FA-20 will be able to leverage that. It will definitely have longer inherent range. And then with refueling, you could say that's indefinite as long as the refueling is available. The impact of this extended reach cannot be overstated. Today's carrier air wings provide an area of effect covering roughly 8 million square miles. With the FA-20 and MQ-25 tanker working together, this expands to approximately 11 million square miles, creating what Donnelly calls the area of uncertainty that enhances survivability and operational flexibility. Beyond range, the FA-20 will feature unprecedented stealth capabilities to penetrate increasingly sophisticated air defense networks. While details remain classified, sources suggest the aircraft will incorporate advanced materials and shaping to reduce radar, infrared, and visual signatures beyond anything currently deployed. Perhaps most revolutionary is the aircraft's integration of artificial intelligence. Unlike current fighters where pilots directly control all systems, the FAXX will transition from what military planners call man-in-the-loop to man-on-the-loop, meaning pilots will supervise autonomous operations rather than performing every function manually. This AI integration enables seamless coordination with unmanned systems, including the Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA program. These drone wingmen, potentially designated as YFQ-42A and YFQ-44A, will multiply the FAXX's striking power while reducing risk to pilots. The competition for the FA-20 contract represents one of the most significant defense procurement decisions in decades. With reports indicating the field has narrowed to Boeing and Northrop Grumman, both companies have everything to stake. For Boeing, securing the FA-20 would provide a critical lifeline to its fighter production facilities in St. Louis, Louis, Missouri. The company already won the competition for the Air Force's sixth-generation F-47 fighter, but handling two major next-generation aircraft programs simultaneously would be unprecedented in modern defense procurement. Boeing brings significant carrier aircraft experience as the manufacturer of the current FA-18EF Super Hornet fleet. This institutional knowledge of naval aviation requirements gives the company a potential edge. However, Boeing has faced challenges with other defense programs, including delays with the KC-46 Pegasus tanker and ongoing software issues with the T-7A Red Hawk trainer. Northrop Grumman represents the competition's other heavyweight contender. The company hasn't produced a fighter aircraft since the F-14 Tomcat, which was retired from Navy service in 2006. However, Northrop has maintained its aviation credentials through other programs, most notably the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber currently in development. Northrop's experience with advanced stealth technology could prove decisive in a program where penetrating sophisticated air defenses is a primary requirement. The company also brings significant expertise in unmanned systems, potentially valuable for developing the fighter's ability to coordinate with drone wingmen. Reportedly excluded from the competition is Lockheed Martin, despite its position as America's premier stealth fighter manufacturer. This decision, if confirmed, represents a significant shift in Pentagon procurement strategy. The selection of Boeing for the Air Force's F-47, and potentially another manufacturer for the Navy's F-A-20, suggests defense officials may be deliberately avoiding the sole source arrangement that made the F-35 program the most expensive weapons system in history. By fostering competition between multiple aerospace giants, the Defense Department aims to control costs while pushing technological boundaries. Developing a sixth-generation fighter presents formidable technical challenges. The FA-20 must not only exceed current fighter capabilities, but do so while operating from aircraft carriers, among the most demanding environments in aviation. The first major challenge involves propulsion. Achieving the 125% range increase specified by Navy officials requires revolutionary advances in engine technology. Current fighters like the F-35 use variants of conventional turbofan designs, but the F-A-20 will likely incorporate more advanced concepts. 
Possibilities include adaptive cycle engines that can adjust their operation for either maximum thrust or optimal fuel efficiency depending on mission requirements. Other technologies under consideration include new fuel formulations and lightweight materials to reduce overall aircraft weight without sacrificing strength. Stealth technology presents another significant hurdle. Current fighter designs like the F-35 already incorporate radar-absorbing materials and careful shaping to reduce radar cross-section. The F-A-20 must push these boundaries further while operating in the corrosive saltwater environment of carrier operations. Recent advances in metamaterials, artificially structured materials with properties not found in nature, may provide solutions. These could potentially absorb or redirect radar waves more effectively than current technologies while standing up to the harsh maritime environment. Perhaps the most revolutionary aspect involves artificial intelligence integration. The FA-20 will likely incorporate machine learning systems that can process massive amounts of battlefield data to identify threats and opportunities faster than human pilots alone. These systems would manage relationships with unmanned wingmen, coordinate with other naval assets, and potentially even take autonomous action under certain conditions. Developing AI systems reliable enough for combat, yet still under meaningful human control represents one of military aviation's greatest current challenges. The aircraft's sensor suite will also break new ground. Beyond traditional radar, the FAXX will incorporate electro-optical, infrared, and signals intelligence sensors in unprecedented combinations. These will likely be coordinated through a centralized AI system that fuses data into a comprehensive battlefield picture. All these systems must function within the unique constraints of carrier operations. The aircraft must withstand repeated catapult launches and arrested landings, operate in saltwater environments, and fit within the limited space available on carrier decks. The FA-20 represents more than just a new aircraft. It's a strategic statement about America's commitment to maintaining naval supremacy in the Indo-Pacific region. Its development carries significant implications for both allies and potential adversaries. For America's Pacific allies, including Japan, South Korea, Australia, and the Philippines, the F-A-20 demonstrates ongoing U.S. commitment to regional security. The fighter's extended range and advanced capabilities ensure American carriers can continue operating effectively despite growing threats from anti-access weapons. Japan, which operates its own aircraft carriers officially designated as helicopter destroyers, may particularly benefit from technology sharing agreements. Components of the F-A-20 program could potentially influence Japan's own next-generation fighter development, currently proceeding under the F-X program. For China, the F-A-20 sends a clear message that America intends to maintain its ability to project power throughout the Western Pacific. The aircraft's range and stealth capabilities directly counter China's strategy of keeping American carriers beyond effective operating range. Beyond its direct military impact, the F-A-20 demonstrates America's ongoing technological leadership in aerospace. It showcases the nation's ability to mobilize industrial, scientific, and military resources to produce revolutionary capabilities that maintain strategic advantages. The program also highlights the changing nature of naval warfare. As Admiral Kilby noted, modern conflicts require joint operations, the Navy and Air Force working in seamless coordination. The parallel development of the Air Force's F-47 and the Navy's F-A-20 creates complementary capabilities tailored to each service's specific needs while maintaining interoperability. Perhaps most importantly, the F-A-20 represents a reaffirmation that human pilots will remain central to air warfare for decades to come. Despite advances in unmanned systems, the program places a manned fighter at the center of a networked system of sensors and drones, combining human judgment with machine speed and precision. The F-A-20 program follows an ambitious timeline driven by both technological opportunities and strategic necessities. According to current projections, the Navy plans to begin fielding the aircraft in the 2030s as Super Hornets reach the end of their service lives. The immediate next step involves contract award, expected imminently. This will trigger the engineering and manufacturing development phase, a multi-year process of finalizing designs, building prototypes, and conducting flight testing. Unlike previous fighter programs, the F-A-20 benefits from extensive preliminary work. 
Similar to the Air Force's approach with the F-47, both competitors have likely developed demonstrator aircraft to validate key technologies. As General David Alvin noted regarding the Air Force program, for the past five years, the X-planes for this aircraft have been quietly laying the foundation, flying hundreds of hours, testing cutting-edge concepts, and proving that we can push the envelope of technology with confidence. Initial operational capability, the point at which the first squadron becomes combat-ready, could potentially be achieved by the mid-2030. Full deployment across the carrier fleet would follow over subsequent years, with the aircraft potentially remaining in service into the 2070s. The F-A-20 will not develop in isolation. It will evolve alongside other key naval aviation programs, including the MGA-25 Stingray unmanned tanker, which extends the range of carrier-based aircraft next-generation electronic warfare systems that replace or supplement the EA-18G Growler. Advanced air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons optimized for the F-A-20X's capabilities. Carrier modifications to support sixth-generation operations. Together, these programs represent the most significant transformation of naval aviation since the introduction of jet aircraft in the late 1940s. They ensure American carriers remain relevant and lethal in increasingly contested environments. The F-A-20 program stands at the intersection of America's technological prowess and strategic necessities. In a world where Pacific dominance increasingly determines global influence, this sixth-generation fighter provides a powerful answer to growing challenges. Its unprecedented range will allow carriers to operate safely beyond enemy weapons while still striking critical targets. Its stealth capabilities will penetrate the most sophisticated defenses, and its artificial intelligence integration will coordinate manned and unmanned systems in ways previously confined to science fiction. The competitive landscape, featuring Boeing and Northrop Grumman but reportedly excluding Lockheed Martin, represents a significant shift in defense procurement strategy. By fostering competition between multiple aerospace giants, defense officials aim to drive innovation while controlling costs. Most importantly, the F-A-20 demonstrates America's unwavering commitment to maintaining naval supremacy. It sends a clear message to allies and adversaries alike. The United States will continue to project power throughout the Indo-Pacific region, regardless of growing threats. As carrier aviation enters its second century, the F-A-20 ensures that American sailors and pilots will continue writing its most important chapters. Their legacy of courage and innovation lives on in this remarkable aircraft, a testament to American ingenuity and resolve. If you found this deep dive into next-generation military technology informative, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more comprehensive coverage of defense developments. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more exclusive content about the technologies shaping our world.